Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And so a quick video for you guys. I'm going to show you guys around on how my Pixel 5a has Android 15. But before I do that, if you guys could do me a solid smash the like button, I would truly appreciate it, as well as turning on bell notifications so you don't miss a video upload or, in fact, when I go live. I'm sorry I'm looking hash. I woke up about 30 minutes ago, um, but last night uh, I was able to install a custom ROM on my Pixel 5a, which brings it to Android 15. Now, there's a couple things I want to say in this video in the beginning as a disclaimer before we get into showing you around the custom ROM. One, I am not telling you guys you guys have to do this. So if you guys decide to do this, you're doing it at your own risk, okay? And if your phone gets bricked, if your credit score drops by 50,000 points, or you get the IRS <clears throat> knocking on your door saying that you owe them a cheese tax, whatever it may be, I am not responsible for that. Okay, so just a disclaimer for you guys. So, um, yes, I was able to install uh, Android 15 on my Pixel 5a. And why the hell would I want to do that? Well, I mean, if I have the opportunity to take an older phone, especially one like the Pixel 5a, which I thought was a pretty damn good phone, and be able to install a custom ROM on it that gets it at least to the closest latest release of Android, I'm going to do it. The experience with the Pixel 5a uh, has been very great. And as a matter of fact, I am working on another video why I'm comparing the battery life from the Pixel 5a to what is possibly the new battery king of Google Pixels, which is the 9a. Um, and I'll have that video out for you guys sometime next week. But, you know, interesting enough, uh, Lineage OS is pretty close to stock Android. Like, they don't do anything wild or crazy um with customizations on the custom ROM itself i mean some of the things that you guys may notice is that you know the clock is centered on the top notification rather than you know to the left and um you know i do have a a, da a data traffic indicator that shows me downlink uplink speeds in real time as well as allowing me to customize like you know the wi-fi icon the signal icon and the battery and that's pretty much the level of customization that you would get so this is not like evolution x which allows you to to like really get in there and customize a lot of things uh it keeps it pretty simple and basic which you know i like in this scenario because um, i just don't want like you know being able to overclock underclock the cpu doing any of those things because then of course you know the video that i'm doing with the 5a versus the 9a on battery that would in a way be cheating if i was able to underclock the cpu of course it's going to get extremely better battery because it's not using so much resources and you know overclocking it of course would drain it faster so uh it doesn't have that type of level of customization it just basically has some basic stuff um basic things that you know you would do uh if you could customize something i mean the other thing that's you know pretty cool is that when you're in the app drawer if you have themes turned on for your home your home display um, that shows up in your app drawer too so your apps in your app drawer are themed as well which is kind of funny though because you can see which um which apps uh, developer team did not uh you know i guess uh, use the uh, apis and develop to build for a you know to allow their app icon to be natively themed by this material you right so when you go in your app drawer and you have uh, your app themes turned on for your home display then like all the apps that have the theme are going to show up in your app drawer all the ones that don't are going to stick out like a sore thumb in your app drawer so just letting you guys know um probably better just to not have the theme turned on if you if you're like ocd about that you won't have to worry too much about that but you know, so far with this custom ROM, I mean, before I do an in-depth review of Lineage OS 22 on a Pixel 5a, um, a lot of things seem to be working properly. Camera's working properly, so I can see that. Um, and I've, you know, recorded video on it, and video's working, including audio in the video. Um, so, you know, I can say that when it comes to the camera, the cameras are performing just fine. I'm not finding any issues at all whatsoever that would be a bug or anything like that that i would report to lineage os development team so that way they can fix anything that needs to be fixed uh so far it, it feels pretty good and this is a nightly by the way so this is kind of like you know uh i guess you could say it's a quick it, it's it's kind of like beta software uh for stock android right you know um anytime that you know they they have a change they're gonna make 
um, you get the system update, which they do uh, system update on um, OTA with this ROM. So you don't have to go into the to the website, to their web, you know, the web page and find the latest one and download it and then do the install. So you don't have to do any of that. Um, yeah, so anyways, there is one thing I want to get out the way real quick to everyone out there. Um, like a kind of pre prerequisite thing, okay? Uh, if you're doing this from a stock Pixel 5a, you're going to have to unlock the bootloader. So to avoid any headaches, any stress, or anything like that, uh, sometimes when unlocking the bootloader, it will trigger the FRP lock. So my advice to everybody is that if you're going to do this, okay, since unlocking the bootloader is going to wipe your phone anyways, I would suggest that before you unlock the bootloader, uh, remove all Google accounts attached to the phone, right? You can do that in settings, okay? You may have only one Google account signed in, or you may have like three or four Google accounts signed in. However many Google accounts you have, remove them all. Do not keep one single Google account on it before you do the bootloader unlock because then, um, you know, you don't want to trigger the FRP lock and, and then have to scour the internet trying to figure out how to bypass that. If you could bypass that and if you can't, well, then your phone's just screwed. So, um, yeah, just remove all Google accounts before, you know, unlocking the bootloader. And the link in the description to the page where you can get all the necessary files you need, including a link to the instructions. Follow the instructions to... It's just exactly what it says to do. Don't do anything outside of the norms, even if you may know a little bit about installing a custom ROM. Just follow the, you know, instructions. That way, you know, you're not messing up your device. But like I said at the beginning of the video, like, I'm not telling you guys to do this. I'm not saying you have to do this. If you choose to do this, you're doing it at your own risk. Do not come back blaming me for what happened to your phone because the disclaimer, I just said it. It's in the description. So yeah, anyways, so that's a look at the Pixel 5a on Android 15. I'll have a more in-depth video sometime next week after I really fully play around with the phone and see if, if I find anything else that I need to report back to you guys. But right now, I am pretty stoked. It is on Android 15. That is solid. Thanks to LOS 22.